Hello everyone, welcome back into this tutorial on Oracle Database. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to connect to Oracle Database using SQL Developer. In previous tutorial, we have seen the very basic concept about the database, uh, particularly Oracle Database. But now onward, we are going to do the more practical things. So how to access the database using SQL Developer we are going to see in the today's sessions because that will be the very first step before performing any SQL operation or doing any SQL uh, processes using SQL developer. So let's start. So what are the things we need? Uh, first of all, we have to make sure the database is already installed. Who can confirm that? The DBA administrator who normally install the database will have the information about the oracle installation whether it is installed or not as i said the oracle dba must aware or he is the only person he is the right person who will be providing this information like what is the database server name what is the port number what are the uh, seed or service name so all this information will be provided by the DBA. If you are the responsible for installation of Oracle database, then during installation you need to provide this uh, properties like the connection name or the server uh, database server name, what is the username, what is the password, what is the port and the seed and service seed or service name. So these are the basic things uh, which we need to capture. If you do not have information reach out to the your DBA he will provide this information then once you got this information next thing required is SQL developer client this is a thin client uh, this is a, actually the thick client which is a desktop application you cannot access the SQL developer through browser but you can install this SQL developer in your system uh, in your desktop and it is freely available to download you can also leverage uh, this utility which comes with during the installation of your Oracle database. So either you can install the Oracle database on your Windows system or you can install the Oracle database in Unix environment or Linux environment and access it in your Windows system through the SQL client or the SQL developer. So we have to install the SQL developer. So two things are basic here. The very first is you have to make sure the database is installed and you, you got the properties from your DBA administrator, that is database administrator. And the second thing required is you need to install the SQL developer in your system. Once you are done with this, then you are ready to connect to the database. So to connect to the database, these are the four steps. First, we have to start the SQL developer. Then there is a, a new connection icon. You have to just click that new connection. And once you click that, you have to provide the properties such as connection name, which you can give any name to your database connection. Then the username and password, which will be provided by your database administrator. Host name, port, SID, or service name. These are the properties will be also available with the help of DBA. Once you provide these properties, you have to click on button called as a test connection and this will provide you this whether it's successful or it's, it is uh, not successful. So these are the uh, properties and these are the steps. So let's, let's go ahead and look into the SQL developer. So I have already opened that means I already started the SQL developer. So this will be the very first screen you will be able to see uh, once you open it. But at the left hand side in this connection panel you will not see this connection because these are I created recently. So how to create new connection? So you can see there is a plus icon. It's a, you can click on that. It's called it will create it will take us to a new screen to for creating a new connection. So 
this is the new connection a new if you have the cloud version of the oracle database so if the oracle database is installed in the cloud you can create the new cloud connection also if you want to see that you have to provide the connection name username and the url where it is installed uh, if it is uh, this is for database for SFTP you can use the name host name and the port of course if you want to see the advanced property these are the advanced property but we are not going here we are not going to create any cloud connection we are going to create our a database connection which is uh, on premise it's not a cloud so this is the one way to create a connection other ways go to the file and if you click new it will take us to a new screen where you can create a database connection you can create other like tables views etc so this is a second way the third way is just below the file you can see the new and it will take to the same screen which we just saw so these are the three ways by which you can create the database connection in the SQL developer so let's go ahead and take one of the examples so you can just click plus icon it will take us to the screen so here you have to provide the connection name username password also you have to provide the host name port if you are using SID then you have to provide the SID or service name let me show you one example so here so I created the connection a dev cmx ORS. it's a it's a schema name here is a username and this is the password provided connection type you can provide like basic TNS LDAP advanced local so what are the type of connection you have to provide so I for the initial connection let's try with the basic so because I have the basic uh, simple direct connection provide the host name this is the host name I mentioned it's a local host the reason is my current database is locally installed it is I'm running my database on my this laptop so that's the reason I mentioned local host the port I mentioned during installation is 1521 and then SID I provided the SID name like this so that's the reason uh, these are the information I, I install as a DBA of my database on my system similarly in your project there will be a DBA or if you are the responsible for installation of database I would recommend make a note of these properties like username password host port and the set these are required now the connection name as I mentioned you can give any connection so like I will get the uh, training I will just mention training and here I will mention DB you can give any name once you provide that <clears throat> there are a couple of options available you can just click the test we have to make sure the connection is successful if this connection is not successful for example instead of port uh, let me try some different port and try to test so it will not uh, test it properly it will say the test failed IO error the network adapter could not establish connection if one of this property is missing or it's, if it is not correct then you will get this kind of message let me try with some different username and let's see what happens so it says invalid username and password so something is wrong with the username and password let me try with the server let me try different server and test it it's trying to find this local host and it says the network adapter could not establish so if one of the property either host name port or the said is different then you'll get this error message if username and password is wrong then you'll get the accordingly the the other invalid username or password message so once you provide the correct and if you if your test is successful I would recommend do not save this password for prod or <coughs> or UAT environment because if you do the three wrong attempt your password will be locked so that will be more risky than providing the password every time but lower environment like if you have your local environment or dev environment it is okay to say because you have the more control to change the password so I'll make it a save because this is my local environment and click on the save button as soon as I, you click save button you'll see the more options here right now 
we do not see the DB training so let's save it so as soon as I save I can see this DB training is saved now the final option here is you got the properties you tested cor correctly you saved it now let's connect it in order to connect just click on this connect button and it will connect to your database so but how can you know it's connected or not the first thing you can notice on the icon this is connection icon and this is not connected so this means database is connected the second thing is you can run a simple query select star from here which is very basic table if it is giving the response then that is correct so select date from DL okay let's select uh, it's a sys date actually the which is mentioned here so it is providing me the current date so this is the way actually uh, we can confirm the database connection happen now how to close this connection very simple go to this database right click on this and click on the disconnect so this will disconnect the database if you want to connect again select this database right click and connect it very simple and next onward you will use this so this is a very basic thing about connecting the SQL uh, database through SQL developer I hope this is informative for you guys if you have any questions or queries you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video thank you for watching this video have a nice time